Hi everyone. So I popped in again on a live just like that without preparing anybody or preparing myself. Of course, I was always like, ooh. Um, like, am I really going to do it? Am I not? So I found the time before I have to rush pick up my kids from school to do a quick live. And the reason I'm doing this is to uh, remind you of uh, inviting yourself to the HEA group, private Facebook group, to read the new book I have out that will not be published called Oops. So I, I wrote down things so that I can contain myself because I've got a million topics to talk about, but this specific topic has to do with the book. So I will, I will, I will stay in that, in that place internally. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to first explain what helped, what helped me write Oops. So Oops is written to help others as it helped me when I wrote it to find my own inner wisdom and to provide clarity from being a codependent and a people pleaser. And it gave me a deep understanding of how painful situations are a gateway to one's personal freedom. That was where Oops was coming in from. And the most powerful experiences usually occur when we are left in a place of utter confusion, which of course trigger the emotions of guilt, fear, shame, self-blaming, blaming others, you know, pent up anger. There's just a whole array of, of emotions that arise from painful experiences. Now, little do we know that these painful experiences are the only, only gateway Okay, so that you can go through this passage of painful passage in hopes of squeezing out, like pushing all your triggers, squeezing out all the triggers in you so that they can come out and you can see them and you can be like, oh, there's this trigger. Okay, wow, great to see you. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. And as you remove all these things slowly, it's like... It's as if you're released from a fog. It's as if you can see colors again or clarity or you, you, there's, there's this different, you become different. Something about you shifts and you're not held down, cooped up, like, it just feels like contained in painful ways by certain beliefs and tra traumas held on from a very young age, right? But these experiences are like this tunnel that you, you're squeezed in. And then hopefully when you finally realize through the experience that this is what the experience is doing, is just showing me the, the, the things about me that I keep hating, disliking, thinking they're awful, bad to be, and looking at them being like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, like, oh, no, that was my five-year-old self thinking that. You know, I'm like 40. So Oops is written in a way where there's a whole bunch of transformation information to do, of course, with toxic relationships, uh, which I find is thousands of women are going through um, on a daily basis. Lots, lots of people don't even know they're going through it. Right. But it just feels painful. It, it, the relationship feels painful. Um, and so Oops was written to sort of bring light to that because it's it's very shameful to talk about this it's very shameful to express to others because it feels like a weakness uh, in a sense it feels like oh my god i'm i'm so awful how could i do this to myself or there's a whole bunch of ugliness that sort of show up and and sometimes it's okay to look at your shame and be ashamed of yourself no who cares it's what i'm feeling now i'm feeling ashamed of myself and then and then what you know, okay, great. Let's move. Let's move on, right? But it's bringing that okayness to feeling all those things that is that is the cure, right? That is the cure to self empowerment. That is the cure to feeling confident. To to being okay with with the ugliness of you, the niceness of you, all these all these aspects. And the only way to do that is to have someone bring clarity to you, meaning that sometimes we're so deep in this, in this self-hating, 
dialogue we have about who we are that 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 sometimes you just need someone to tell you their story or to give you insights or give you language to it for the for the haze to sort of disappear for you to see yourself for the first time. So stories are always a good way to self reflect, right? And so therefore, that's why my two books are story based to to self reflect. Because as we read stories, as we watch movies, we go with the flow of it and we start to self reflect. That's just the way it is, right? That's the way we are made. Um, if you notice also most religions, all religions have stories in them, right? Um, we all love stories, right? Let me go back to the paper because of course I've gone, blah, 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 tried, dry, 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 digressed into a different, into a different topic going back to oops the book um so oops was written with a lot of insights definitions in a story form to help anyone and everyone who has lived years of their lives in mental and emotional angu anguish or pain and believing that life was meant to be painful um, and sacrifices were meant to exist to be able to find pleasure but then of course there is no pleasure at the end of it right it's just this constant swirl of, of like oh ooh, all the time this yuckiness and there's no proper end result right it just by the end you're you feel depleted traumatized broken and and you're like mad at the world um so the reason i have done this book in a private setting is because it's a very sensitive book um the reason I will not be publishing this book and only doing it in this format is also to give the opportunity for me to answer questions per chapter, um, for people to feel free to also open up about their vulnerabilities, because as you open up about yourself or share, you don't have to, but as you do, there's a freedom that shows up, there's clarity that comes, there's a sort of um it is a freedom that it's the best best word it's like a oh, i've released it from my system and to do it in a safe environment to do it with someone um yes i'm going to toot my own horn to do it with someone who really understands the depth of the human psychology the pain in the body what it means to be ashamed and guilted of yourself and of the world and hiding who you are consistently to to feel in that as safety in that environment judgment free and just full of love and acceptance is is really the key for you to run with yourself to to to, to feel okay with it okay so that's the main reason i'm doing that um uh, in hopes of this group growing enough to build a safe haven for people to be okay with being themselves without being ashamed of whoever they are and to be validated, to be validated for whoever or whatever it is that you are, okay? Another reason is, it is the reason there's this fundamental, you gotta read Happily Ever After first because it's a sequel and the second book will not make any sense if you do not read Happily Ever After. You, you've gotta have that understanding, right? Um, now, I know I think I've sold over 50 books. I have no idea where everybody else is. So I'm just doing a live in hopes that they find this because it's sort of a gift. I was trying to figure out this is the third reason. I was trying to figure out how can I gift somebody for reading my book, Happily Ever After. And I bought it here, my book, Happily Ever After. I wanted to gift it, but I didn't know what to do because I didn't know how to do Amazon. It's just too much work to even figure it out. So I wanted to gift someone something with this book. First, I thought of essential oils, but then I don't have access to sending everybody essential oils or access to anybody who is purchasing the book. And then I thought, you know what? The best way is that the next second book, for it to be of service, um, for it to be like a double combo you read the first you get a gift and you can read the second and with the second you get to talk to the author or you know and, and especially that i'm a transformational therapist and coach and intuitive and all that stuff that i'll be able to also offer my services to those who are reading and may 
want clarity or understanding or have questions. Um, this way, building a community of empath, codependence, beautiful souls, right? That's my dream. Um, of putting us all in our powers again, you know? And, and I'm not saying that the work is going to ever be done. We're always going to uncover new things and, and old things and new things about ourselves. This is just the way this life looks like. It's just releasing a lot of the real traumas out of the system so that the other work that comes in is a lot gentler and easier to deal with because it's just part of life, right? Next page. Oh, I'm already on the second page. No, I'm on the first page. So uh, I wanted to offer the second book for, okay. So I wanted to offer the second book for the price of one. The first book, it was a gift. I already said that. Um, and my intention, I think I've clarified my intention, is to really bring light to that which is kept in the darkness. And what's usually kept in the darkness is our our own uh, limiting beliefs about ourselves, those shameful things, our guilt. Um, if we're in toxic relationships, we're very ashamed of being in them. Um, and it's just bringing light to that because whatever resides in the darkness, the minute you put light onto it, you get to see the details. And why is that important? Because it doesn't look as scary as it was. When, when you're able to see something clearly, it's not as scary anymore. You're not like afraid of it. We're all afraid of the dark, or not all of us, but most of us, you know, as children, we were afraid of the dark. And that was just for us to understand the difference between light and darkness, right? Our system was trying to understand so that we can do our own analogies, right? When I open the lights of the bedroom or I put a spotlight on something, it clears up. I can see it. And when I can clearly see something, I can then then choose at free will to, I can decide, I can choose at free will, I can do, I can do something with the information that I can clearly see. Now, I have absolutely no idea how many people are watching. For some odd reason, this happens every time with me. Um, if anybody is watching the live and not going to watch the replay, do you have any questions you would like to ask or do you would you like to interact with me in any form during this live? I think I'll just be on for five more minutes and I've got to rush off, but not to rush you. If you have anything you would like to say or comment, I think I can see it says comments. Hmm. But last time there was, I couldn't, anyway, whatever. Don't understand technology as much as I've studied so much technology stuff. It's just not the thing I do uh, or I, the thing I digest easily. Um, so to be able to have access to this very private Facebook group, add yourself to H-E-A, which is happily ever after, it's a group. Once you're there, I'll, all I will want you to do is say, yes, you have read happily ever after. And then I will move everyone that has read it to another group called Oops, and that's completely locked and sealed and no one can have access to, except whoever I put into there that has read Happily, Happily Ever After. And in the Oops group, now you can go to HAE if you are. Hi, Sonia. How are you, darling? <laughs> Mystery school. Um, thank you for checking me out. <laughs> so once we are there on that, on the HAE group, if you're in the middle of reading it, if you're about to read, you know, I'll also be answering questions there for happily ever after. Whoever's reading it in the middle of reading it and wants to share insights or ask questions, that'll be that group there. And whoever's done with that will have the, um, the access to go into uh, the oops, whenever that is, you know, I'm having both groups open, whenever that is to slide into the chapters as they are being shared. Um, all this is done so that I can be of utmost service 
to women, I know men, men want service, but there are a lot of coaches for men and therapists for men, um, as there are for women. And I'm, I'm just based for women. I understand women. I'm a woman. So that's where I head until I have more understanding of men. But for now, I'm, I'm offering as much as I possibly can um, to release fear out of the body and to incorporate more love in one's beliefs about themselves. And it's it's just a way of, I, I can't express it more to you than, than what I have felt personally, what I have helped my clients through. I mean, just seeing how they shift uh, is just miraculous. And so it's just what I wanna offer everybody in this, especially in COVID in these taxing times is the, the freedom from fear and the appreciation of fear so it's not like i want to resist fear and no it's like come fear come come let's have a talk come I, where, where are you come let's have a talk you know let's be friends because whatever you resist just keeps growing it's like being in that dark room i was talking about and then you're like oh i wonder is there like is there a you know a a ghost or is there like a rat in there that I can't see and in, in your mind the rat keeps growing and it's going to eat you and it's just our thoughts just take over and then when you switch on the light you may feign nothing or you find a little tiny little rat and you're like oh it's so cute what am I going to do about it and then solutions arise right because you're you're, you're you and, and and fear are 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 are, you have an understanding of what fear is. You have an understanding of what those limiting beliefs are. You have an understanding of you. And I can only tell you that, 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 holy moly, it just helps the mind. It helps you enjoy life and find clarity and fulfillment and connection and just a whole bunch of beauty. So that's why these two groups are in parallel. So please, if you've read Happily Ever After, add yourself. For some odd reason, when I add somebody, it just doesn't go through. Add yourself to that. Once you're done, I will add you to Oops. On the 1st of May, the first chapter of Oops will start. Um, I'll start dripping it, opening it. Um, first chapter, right? <coughs> mm. So anyway, I just wanted to say this to clarify it because writing posts is not clear enough. And I would love to see you on both groups and I will be available in both of them as much as I can because I am doing a million other things as always, you know, and, and I will, I will, I will be of service as often as I can. And at the same time, I'm sure all of you will be of service to each other and having insights and feeling safe, non-judgment. It's so important. There is no judgment. And if there is judgment, immediately self-reflect think ha oh, interesting i'm judging somebody or i think i'm better or i have the best advice no just oh what is that how am i judging myself because it's never really about the person right so we're going to get into all this in the other groups if you have any questions of course and i will see you guys there please take this opportunity this very precious opportunity to um to get onto these groups and i will see you there and thank you sonia for for showing up and comment <laughs> commenting it feels nice even if i'm talking to just one person it feels really good and i love you all and now i have to go pick up my children take care à tout à l'heure